What's the best type of shoe you can wear when you're working out with kettlebells? Someone who's new to kettlebells recently asked me this question. I think it's a great question because people spend way too much money on shoes. It's my mission to help people learn how to get into better shape using kettlebells. Hi, I'm Ryan Jankowitz. I help busy guys lose 10 to 15 pounds, shed their spare tire, and build lean muscle so they can fit better in their clothes, look better naked, and move like they did in their 20s. So, what's the best type of shoe you can wear for working out with kettlebells? Well, you already have it. It's called your foot. So I train barefoot and I encourage my clients to train barefoot as well. It has to do with our nervous system. When we're working with, that, with kettlebells or lifting weights in general, we're not just working our muscles. We're also working and stimulating our nervous system. The bottom of your foot and your hands for that matter have a lot of nerve endings. And when your foot is pressing hard into the floor, or when your hand is gripping a kettlebell or a barbell, it's sending a lot of messages to your nervous system, which is responding back by telling your muscles to contract with enough force to deal with whatever weight you're working with, whether you're swinging a kettlebell or pressing a kettlebell over your head. So, it has to do with the nervous system. But if you're in a situation where you can't go barefoot or you feel funny going barefoot, then there are some other alternatives. The next best option would be the toe shoes, the Vibram Five Finger Toe Shoes. I'll wear these if I'm outside working out in the backyard and the grass is wet, or that's where my dogs pee, so I don't want to step in their pee, so I'll wear these shoes. If you feel funny about wearing these, they do feel a little odd at first, but they're quite comfortable once you get used to them. Again, if you don't feel comfortable about using these, the next best bet is a flat, thin soled shoe like our classic Chuck Taylors, the Converse All Stars. With these, I can still feel the floor through the sole of the shoe. It's not a lot of padding, and it's fairly flat. What we want to avoid is wearing a running shoe when we're lifting weights and swinging kettlebells. With a running shoe, it's very thick in the heel and it tapers down to the toe. Um, that's going to push your center of gravity forward. Maybe it's good for running. I don't know. I'm not a running coach. But when we're lifting something heavy, doing heavy squats, swings, uh, heavy press, we don't want our center of gravity being pushed forward. That may place unnecessary stress on your knees. Also, with most running shoes, there's a sweep in the toe, so your toes are not even touching the ground. Your toes are important for balance and stability, so if your toes are not touching the ground when you're swinging something heavy, you sacrifice stability, which could potentially lead to injury. So to sum it all up, if you're able to train barefoot, I would highly recommend training barefoot. You're going to be a lot stronger and a lot safer. Don't worry about dropping a kettlebell on your foot. I've never seen it happen. It's never happened to me. If training barefoot is not for you, or you're in a situation where you can't train barefoot, go to the toe shoes or a flat, thin soled shoe. If you have any questions about training with kettlebells, feel free to send me a message. Stay strong.